Hello and welcome to this uh, quick presentation on the findings of uh, the literature review on SARS-CoV-2 transmission. Uh, this was conducted for Project Clean Access at the University of Bristol's Design and Manufacturing Futures Lab. The World Health Organization has identified seven primary modes of transmission for the coronavirus. These are droplet, airborne, fomite, fecal oral, bloodborne, mother's child, and animal to human. The droplet mode is thought to be the most common, and these contain viral particles larger than five micrometers, and these are ejected when a person uh, talks, coughs, sneezes, sings, or shouts. Uh, the airborne transmission route is particles generally smaller than five micrometers, but these can travel a much further distance and are produced in a similar way. Uh, fomites are objects that are contaminated with viral RNA. Uh, these can be just touched or coughed upon or uh, talked over by an infected person. They then hold the virus until another person uh, can catch the virus from these objects. And the fecal oral transmission route is still being tested and it's not fully understood whether a person can pick up the virus via this route. However, it is of concern to Project Clean Access as bathrooms are a common shared space and one of PCA's aims is to reduce uh, contact surfaces. Fomites are of primary concern to Project Clean Access because these allow transmission through routes that cannot be easily traced. It's important to note that different surfaces can help the virus survive for different lengths of time. Additionally, if proteins are present on that surface uh, in particles such as those breathed out or uh, ejected whilst shouting, coughing or uh, sneezing, uh, then these can um, increase the lifespan of the virus by an order of magnitude or more. However, uh, of the materials tested so far, it's been noted that copper um, has a very short survivability window for the coronavirus. Some of the key findings from the literature review were that the primary modes of transmission are thought to be aerosol, droplet and fomites, as reported by the World Health Organization. Up to 20% of transmission is thought to be from asymptomatic people and up to a further 40 from pre-symptomatic people. This is significant because these people likely do not know that they are carrying the virus and therefore may not take the same precautions as those who have been diagnosed. It's important to note that social distancing has reduced cases worldwide on average by 13% and therefore this is an important measure uh, that must uh, be supported and encouraged. Saying that, the 1-2 to two meters distance normally kept is likely not safe in most scenarios in terms of it's not a full prevention against the virus, as sneezers can travel as far as 8 metres uh, as evidenced in the video that is linked. This literature review provides a scientific backing for the principles of Project Clean Access, which are to reduce shared contact points, support adherence to physical distancing, mitigate airborne spread, reinforce good practice and make the experience positive for all. These are all important steps to break the chain of transmission for COVID-19. Please see the following references for further information and also as a reference for what was used in this presentation. Thank you for listening.